my name is Andrea. Welcome to AKB Bags and thanks for joining me in the babe cave. <laughs> so today is huge, huge, huge. Um, I am doing an updated Dooney and Burke collection video of my purses only. <laughs> so this is going to be a while. So grab your coffee or your drink and uh, it's been a year, over a year since I've done this collection video and I have sold some bags. I might have acquired a couple, so if you're interested in seeing my whole entire Dooney and Burke collection, then stay tuned. So let's begin, and I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time because you're going to get bored, right? No. Okay, so I'm going to start with my fuchsia colored Allison crossbody in the Florentine leather. Beautiful, beautiful bag. Of course, the color is amazing. Yeah, I haven't carried it a ton, but... It's a crossbody and it fits a lot and it's up against your body. So this is the Allison crossbody. Next, I have featured this bag a ton of times and this is in the, the crossbody or it can be a shoulder bag and it's the shiny it, you know, the DBs are all multicolored has the bumpers on the side. I've carried this a lot and it is in great shape. No feet on the bottom, no back pocket, but it has this nice big front zip pocket that you can <clears throat> put your cell phone in. And I'm not gonna go through interiors because it'll just be too long. <laughs> so uh, yeah, this is the Dooney and Burke shiny, as you can see, very shiny, multicolored, which is my favorite. So yeah, there's that one. Next up, we have the medium zip, and this is a crossbody. It's a little bit bulky. It's similar to the Florentine and Pebble leather satchels. It has the tassels. It's a similar size to what was formerly known as the small satchel. And this is in the color Bone. It's like a creamy vanilla. No feet on the bottom. It's a crossbody. Um, has this gorgeous burgundy. I've done videos on this as well. Um, you know, you just got to be careful about jeans because this will color transfer. Um, I've had it happen, but I was able to clean it up. Um, and here's a close-up of that cream color. It's so pretty and buttery. This is the smoothest Florentine that I own. And I think I got it off uh, second hand. And I don't know if they even used it, but I love it. It's so pretty. Here is the medium zip crossbody. Sticking with crossbodies, we have my Teton bag. With the taupe color, the navy, and the burgundy with this brown duck logo. Here's a close-up of the pebbled leather. There's the bottom, and here's the back with the slip pocket. Very comfortable, comfortable to wear. It's vintage. I love it. Not getting rid of it. <laughs> I like all the colors. Yeah, so this is the Teton bag. And with the different colors and the little pleating little, I didn't show that up close, but that is some nice vintage Dooney and Burke. And they just have a suede interior. I'm not going to, again, I'm not going to show you the inside of all of them. Okay, on to, this one is currently for sale on my Poshmark and Mercari. So, um, I just have... I had a collection of these. They're the Essex bags and they're the larger size Essex bag. Essex bag. I don't I still don't know if this is blue or black. It's hard to tell. But it's a nice size. It's for sale for $40 on my Poshmark and Mercari. There's the feet. I had I still have, you know, two other ones. That's why I'm selling this black. I'm calling this black and then brown, but this is the Essex bag. Next is the 
this is a very light blue pebbled leather. Um, it's called a crossbody pouch. I got it for $27 after discounts. And at the time they were giving, uh, on I Love Dooney, they were giving you points, but they don't do that anymore. So I ended up paying like $27 for this cute little crossbody. There's the bottom. And it's like, I think it's called ice blue. It's real pretty. I like how it has uh, the darker leather matched with the light. Super pretty. So that's the crossbody pouch. As you can tell, I like crossbodies. <laughs> This is my vintage messenger bag, and this is like the prettiest brown taupe color. And again, here's that dark leather with the Dooney duck that's poofy. Sometimes these are um, poofy, risen up, and sometimes they're flat, but this one is sticky, like you can feel it. But yeah, here's the top handle, and then it has the crossbody. Love this bag. This is a definite favorite when it comes to fall. Um, and here is my little Dooney charm that came with it. I think I got it second hand, of course. And here's a back pocket. It's amazing. This bag right here is probably one of my favorites of the vintage for sure. I'm going to say that over and over. I'm sorry. So there's the messenger bag. Now we are on to the satchels. I have two Florentine satchels and one pebbled leather satchel. And they're all in the small size, which was, is now on their website as just the satchel. It's not the large one, it's the formerly known as small. So I have the color Accru. And it's like a, almost a real light gray. And there's the made in the USA tassels because of the red on the inside. Feet on the bottom. I weighed these puppies, these Florentine and the pebbled, and they're two points, I believe 2.7, 2 pounds and 7 ounces. <laughs> Empty. <laughs> so you got to have some muscle, but they have a crossbody strap or you can adjust them to be a, a shoulder strap so there is that so this is that real pretty accru is the color name on this one next is the black one that you've seen before oh this thing is gorgeous on camera and off it's gorgeous same setup with the black you know at the back no pocket on the back feet on the bottom and so there's the black one and this one I wanted to show you how I made it a shoulder strap this is my pale blue and I just looped around the strap and I doubled it on this side to make it a shoulder strap so you can make these shoulder straps because they're a little bulky when they're a crossbody so you can make those happen into and some of them have detachable parts where you can do that already so yeah this is a uh, the pale blue and the pebbled leather same feet on the bottom still a hefty bag but it's way better with a shoulder strap I love the the braiding on these handles my favorite part so I have three satchels Next up we have the Laurel Hobo in the color natural. Has feet on the bottom, nice burgundy underneath there on the zipper, nice zipper pulls, everything quality on these Florentine bags especially. Here's the handle, it's a shoulder bag. Here's the back of it. There's where you see that it's it is genuine Florentine Vachetta Vich or Vachetta, which one? <laughs> Leather, that's where it's stamped on the back. And then here's a look again, and again it's the Laurel Hobo, and then this is the clamp that you can also have on the duck side, which I have now. Or you could have it on this side, which says Dooney and Burke on it. So yeah. 
very nice shoulder bag. It holds a lot. That's the Laurel shoulder bag. The next one, I kind of fell in the hype. Um, and it was a really good sale on this Florentine Logan bucket bag. And the color is Brown Timaro. Super pretty. Again, look at the, the braided zipper pull. I mean, seriously. And it's got a shoulder strap. It's a little bulky. As you can see, it's it holds a lot. And it, you can put your phone in the front. Again, I love this red, this burgundy maroon color with the brown tomorrow. And no back pocket on the back. Show you that real quick. And here's the bottom. No feet on the bottom. Looks like I got a little scratch probably, but yeah, sometimes Florentine leather does scratch. Usually you can rub it out with your oils of your hand, but yeah, this is such a pretty bag. It's the Logan and it's the Florentine leather and brown tomorrow. Okay, like I said earlier, I have two Essex bags and they're in the larger size, so... Um, this one's in the red, and then this is my beat up one, but I love it, and it's in the taupe color, and these are, I believe, the same size, maybe they're not, uh, this one might be the large size, and this one might, the red one might be the medium size, I'm not sure, but the Essex bag, they're these two, my, my two favorites, the red I like to wear at Christmas a lot. And this one is just super comfortable, worn in. It's seen better days. <laughs> but I don't care. I love it. I love the color. And then these also have back pockets. And as you see, the feet on the bottom. Yeah. So they're... Um, and they both have the duck charms on the, the sides here. That one's turned around, but... Yeah, these are great crossbody bags. Seriously hold a lot. Love these bags. So these are my two and the one the black one that I think is black is for sale. <laughs> We're on to the last two of my Dooney collection. I hope you're still here. And if you are, hit the subscribe button. Yeehaw! Okay. So let's start with this is called which these don't pop up all the time. I did have a black one, but I sold it and I have this French blue. And this is called the Bitsy Bag. It's the smaller version of the Zip Zip Satchel. And I did sell my strawberry uh, normal size Zip Zip Satchel so you won't see it. <laughs> so yeah, this is in the French blue. So pretty. You know, it zips all the way down. Nice handles, nice crossbody strap inside. Beautiful. Such a pretty color. So this again is the Bitsy Bag in French Blue. The grand finale because everybody raves about... This is called the Cameron Crossbody, but the reason why <clears throat> everyone wants what I have inside. Do you see that strap? This strap is a guitar strap that they came out with two or three years ago now, I'm not sure. But it has Dooney and Burke stamped all along it with the, there's the lobster claw. Super cute crossbody with the Dooney and Burke. Yeah, this is their guitar strap. And sometimes people sell these on their own, but there was a lot of colors and I picked the olive color and, the, and it's called the Cameron Crossbody. And they still sell them, but not with this strap. This was a limited time. I don't know if they'll ever bring them back, but some people are selling these straps for a lot of money. <laughs> So it's very comfortable. Again, in the olive green, there's feet on the bottom. No back pocket. But yeah, super cute guitar strap. 
So there is my collection of Dooney and Burke updated. And yes, some have gone because I just wasn't carrying them. So I hope you enjoyed my collection. And if you want a further review on any of my bags, let me know. I'll do measurements, weight, whatever you need, what fits. Let me know if you want a review. And tell me which one's your favorite. <laughs> and do I need more? Hmm. Maybe I do. I don't know. So thank you again for watching. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.